it going shavers? Randy with Atlas Shaving here. Today, we're gonna shave with the Rockwell 6S stainless steel um, razor. It's the three piece. We're gonna be using the Astro Blade, uh, Colonel Conk's Bay Rum, which I've used before. I do like the smell. And for the brush, it's soaking here using the Omega bore brush. And then for aftershave, we're gonna use the Derby City Chop Shop Winter Reserve Blend, which they actually have on, uh, on their site right now. They uh, produce it around this time of year. And it's, you know, the Bay Rums got that nice kind of spicy rum smell. And then the um, Derby Shop also has, it's, it's very similar except they use bourbon, which is kind of cool. Popped that a few years ago. And it actually comes with a little dropper to get it out of there without wasting a bunch. All right, so first we're gonna load the, the razor up. Get the blade ready. Get the Astro blade. Try to be careful with this thing. Sometimes these Astro blades, I don't know why, they seem more aggressive to me. I know a lot of people prefer them. So we're gonna give it a shot. And we're gonna be using the setting three. And now that's ready. Old Spice cup, you like that cup. And then to ring this out, usually I just squeeze a little from the, towards the knot. And then just start swirling some, some shapes up. Hope everybody's having good, good weeks. I've had a busy week at work. My busiest in a while. It's good though. Makes the week go by fast. And the weekend's here. I love the smell of Bay Rum. I need to get some more Bay Rum soaps. soap in the cup so I can whip it up a little better. Oh yeah, looks good. We have to run the water in the sink. So that's what you hear running. Wet my face. Or you took a shower. Anybody buy anything off for the Amazon Prime Days? Their sale was this week. I think I spent probably the least amount of money that I've ever spent on Prime Day. Just wasn't a whole lot I needed. Did buy a new Timex watch.
I'm excited for that. It's supposed to be here today. And then went with the, I do a smart automa smart home automation stuff and have it all throughout the house. And I'm actually swapping to the ring alarm for, um, for my alarm because it's monitored. Sometimes my son stays home by itself. I mean, he has his phone, but you know, he, a lot of times he may run it dead. So that if there's an emergency, he can just press a button, which is nice. All right, that's pretty that. Warm my blade up a little. Thirty degree angle, very light. These Astro blades, if you press, at least for me, they will cut you up. A lot of times you'll see me looking over at the camera, so I want to make sure that you can see as well. Astro blades were the first blades I purchased. They've been really good. I like them. Like I said, you gotta be careful though, because at least for me, they like slice me up if I'm not careful and if I rush. Look at old man when it is. Number three is pretty good. I just wonder though, if you do have thicker hair, maybe it's to get in between the blades. Like for me, I just wouldn't want it to be real aggressive. Because like I said, I have sensitive skin. And when we get underneath, I swap and go upwards. Goes the way my neck hair grows. That was good. Missed a little spot right there. But we're gonna do another pass. It'll get what we miss. We got Halloween coming up, a few weeks. Of course, we'll dress the, the baby up, but probably not taking her anywhere. With you know everything going on, just risky.
This is actually my second time shaving with this. On um, Monday, I shaved with this and I had two pimples. And man, did I slice them. Not the razor's fault. And I figured y'all didn't want to see me bleeding everywhere. Like I said, I'm just going to do two down passes today. Or with the grain. Because if I use this cross grain, I tend to, tend to be a little close. No, my glasses, sometimes I have to get a little close to the mirror. Which I thought my glasses were over here. Me looking at my nose hairs with that 4K. Not cool, not cool. <laughs> the bad thing about 4K is I'll go to edit it and there'll be a hair hanging or an eyelash or an eyebrow to place or something. It's always something. It's okay. Really smooth. I think I do. We'll stick with the three. And that is shaving with the success. I like the matte finish. I don't know why. I don't just I don't know. You're always used to seeing everything chrome, everything shiny. But it works. Now another tip with these razors is sometimes you'll see staining inside the head if you leave the blade in. Now to avoid this, and it's not the razor rusting, it's the two dissimilar metals. Um, and sometimes if you have hard water, it may erode the finish on the, uh, the uh, blade. Not the finish, but the coating. Because sometimes the blades have coatings on them to keep them from rusting in between shaves. So what you can do is actually disassemble it, take the blade out and set it to the side. Now the other option is you can get the $50 cheaper plated one, plated um, Rockwell razor, and then you don't have to worry about that. But if you want the stainless steel and you don't want it staining, now stain doesn't hurt anything. You can, you can keep it, um, keep the stains on there and just shave. It's just a lot of people don't like it. It's just unsightly. Rinse my face off. Get all the shaving cream out from everywhere. Hate to get somewhere and you're either in the bathroom or whatever, it could be work or at a store and you'll you'll see shaving cream behind your ear and you're like Oh crap, no one told me. Like I said, we're gonna use the Shave Tonic Winter Reserve. See, mine's dated 11, 15, 17. Actually, I, I was, me and my wife were going to visit her family in Indiana. And actually, I stopped by the uh, Derby City shop just to get this. Now, it, it was kind of on the way. There's several routes you can go to get to Indiana. And we just took a little side trip and I picked it up. And it may have been Ken Surf that had this and I had seen the video. Could have been him, it could have been one of the others. Now sometimes the stuff will settle at the bottom so I like to give it a little shake. It has this nice little wax seal too. It's kind of cool. Man, this stuff. 
Oh, that smells so good. It reminds you of the holidays. All you do is take the little dipper, get some out, put it on your hand. Very nice. It smells really good. I like it. The good news is it's not, you know, when you first put a lot of these things on, it's strong, but it's not overly strong. And this is one of those as well. It's got the little cork cap. Put it back on the shelf. I don't think I showed a close-up of the Omega. Let me rinse it off. The Boar Hair Omega. One of the bigger brushes. And it's, the end of it's very nice. Almost forgot to do a watch check. So the watch today I'm wearing is actually the Samsung um, Galaxy Active, the first edition. Um, the biggest reason I bought this is when my wife was pregnant, I was able to get notifications without having to get my pull my phone out of my pocket or not hearing it because you know at work a lot of times I'd have it on silent. So, so here's what it looks like, and I can put a link to the watch face or the name of the watch face. Just tap it and it turns on. You can put your hand over it, turns off or automatically turns off when you put your hand down. So yep, that's what, that's usually my daily wear and that's up for the weekends and then if I'm with my family, it really doesn't matter. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, I'm gonna start a little mini series for the new wet shavers. It's gonna be um, videos under two minutes with tips and you can actually pick which ones you want to see instead of having to watch a 10 minute video and all of them being listed. So try that out. So everybody has a good weekend. See you later.